right, this is um, episode two of Fill in the Blank Journal, which is that one here that we're doing. And, oh, no, no, sorry about that, putting that in the way. So this is as far as we've got so far. And I'm going to do the back of this page today. And, uh, yeah, I like, I'm like. i not going to touch this page here because I really like it. So I'm just going to look through the bit box and see what we have to go there. I just I don't want anything too heavy because that's quite thin paper that one. So I'll look. Smiles too big. Oh, it's rose. There's some roses here. Oh, that one's already got double-sided sticky tape on. This is printed vellum, and then with double-sided sticky tape on. So let's have a look. I reckon. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Let me see. Yep, that's fine. That's good. So all I'm going to do there is just stick that down. If I can find my... Yeah, that will do. Bits of fluff everywhere. This way, you don't see any of the glue because vellum. It just, there's not many glues that you can't see. You just got to make sure you stick it down right first time. It's not very forgiving. There we go. And I will just. Try and make it look like it's part of the page. And I think I'm going to do a bit of stenciling in that page there. I went and got my stencil. And some words, I think. Where are you, Sponge? There we go. A little bit of ink. I'm using tea stained ink because it's not too heavy. And just do it very lightly, just in case you have too much on there. there coming up and then something here I think that's it a bit more writing get a bit carried away I do anyway as long as it's nice and light so if you want to write on it you still can that's it okay I think that's fine there definitely that's enough and that I'm going to leave as it is and then so we're over to this page now so have a think now what we're going to do okay right I was lucky to find one of these in my bit box. So I thought that would look nice here. And then a bit of um, college work down the bottom. And that's just decoupage napkin on top of there and, tea st and coffee stained, tea stained vaccine bag. So I think that there will be perfect. So I'm going to stick that in first. I use fabric tack for that, I think. Make sure it's the right way, so outer edge. This fabric tack glue is so good. Not cheap, cheap though, is it? But never mind. It does a really good job. I'm only using it on here today because of quickness of drying. Whereas I normally would use a different glue. haven't stuck it all down I actually quite like it and if you can tuck something behind that as well That's that. it's not really sort of lending itself to lace this journal but 
I would normally put a bit of lace down here. So we're going to have to find something to go down there, I think. Let's have a look. I know I've got this. Up. This was all um, stained up with rusty bolts. <laughs> Oh, that's quite nice. That's not quite long enough, that bit, but never mind. Let's see, I've got some of this here as well. That might work, actually, some of that. Do like a little cluster or something. Right, I found some bits and pieces. I, I, I saw this earlier, so I'm going to use that because it's very similar colour to that. And I found this nice tag that I thought I'd make into a bigger one, which will fit in here and it all lends itself to the same sort of tone so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stitch all that on and make sure that all these are stained up I don't really want to see any white I will stitch this sort of thing onto a bit of card because it gives it a bit of stability and then you can stick it on yeah because I want to stitch all that so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch for this one. So let me see what happens. Okay, well, I've stitched all that on and I think what I'm going to do is slightly, because it's white thread again, is just make that a little bit darker. Again, not much ink or else it will ruin it, but I just blend that in. That's better. better. That's it. And I'm going to trim some of this a little bit too much I think but I quite like it because it is that sort of journal where it lends itself to this sort of thing I usually do very neat and tidy so this is quite nice for me and I think that down there and I'm gonna actually only glue the bottom on the two sides and that can become a little tuck spot as well which I think would be nice uh, let's do that Oops. should we get the bottom yeah I think that was the bottom wasn't it yeah gone quiet glue in makes me quiet <laughs> there we go and we have a little tuck spot as well actually i'm going to go right over to that edge there that's better there we go leave that dry before i try and tuck anything in it so what i'm going to do now is make a bigger tag. I'm going to get a piece of card and just see my length that I need. In a minute, I'm just yeah, it's only about three and a half inches, I think. do to get the length I need is I put it down here because I actually want that to stick out it's going to be a large tag but that's fine that's how I want it so what I will do now is mark I'll say about here and then make my tag from that which is fine oh, I also found these which are really lovely. Those I've had again years, so it's no good asking me where I got them. And then that I think is going to go on on there, and we we'll make a tag out of that. Yep, yeah, definitely. Oh, do me sides again. I 
actually one of the pages would have looked nice too wouldn't it I might do that I'll save this tag for something else and one of the Edith Holden pages make a tag out of that I think let's carry on with that for a moment and I might that actually might go in here like so yes that, that's quite nice and then need a hold and tag with the same sort of colors in yep that's what I'm gonna go for there so let's have a look let's see what we've got oh look mushrooms so I'm just thinking actually that would be all right because yeah I can get a tag out of that so that's quite a nice yep that's fine so we'll do that we want that image in so what I'm going to do is just mark off I'm going to cut down there first Too. Never mind. Let's just trim that a little bit because I like them to be about four. I think that's enough. So let me actually trim some off the bottom. See, I was mumbling again. Oh, I wish I'd stopped that. When I concentrate and mumble and right, I rub that out now because I was I forgot there was a gap at the bottom. So that's right. Just cut your sides and then you've got yourself a tag. I'm going to sew around this one. Oh, wait, I always punch the hole after I've sewn. Okay then, right, I've sewn around that and I lined it with some coffee stained lined paper. So that's all I've done and I thought we'd create a, a tag at the top, not a tag, but you know, out of some of this, which is quite nice. But mind you, I think, personally, some of that would look nice down there, looking at it. Just a little bit. Somehow. Yeah, but never mind might do that again in a minute so what I've done is I've got some string and bits and pieces so I thought I'd stick it all together there we go some bits here that I've left behind from other projects that's it let's get that same length actually wait a minute I should have one the same length there we go there we go and then I'll put that in as well We'll just see how that looks. Does it look silly when we take it out? <laughs> I won't trim it until I've had a look. No, that's fine. Let's trim it. And then we've got a bit left. Maybe just look down here. Let's have a look. Oh no, there's two little bits. 
and then what I'm going to do is put that there and then put a little tiny flower in the middle so I'll glue that down Hold this for a minute. Make sure that's down. I mean, if I thought about that earlier, I would have sewn it in, but I haven't. I didn't. So this is how you get around that. I know it'll look nice. Little bow made out of one of these. It's quite good if you do it with um, hot glue, this sort of thing, but that Fabri-Tac is brilliant. It's the next best thing. So. And then slightly trim them, which is a little bit too much. Okay, what I might do while that's drying, let's just put a little clip on because so I might not reach. Let's see. Stick that down and dry. Well, that's that. And then we had another tag, didn't we? Oh, I was going to. I was going to have a look at this actually because I quite like that. If that was peeking through, let's have a look. See what I mean. I come up with these ideas. And then we're going to put a tag in there. Maybe that is it's that one there for now. Actually, I think a different colour tag there. Yeah, because it's, there's quite a lot going on, and there's a lot going on on this one. So you know, I think that would be nice somewhere else. Maybe even on the back of that to brighten up that area. So yeah, I'll find something else for that. I've got me little pebble there. Quite pleased with that. It's actually, they're encased. Little pressed flowers are encased in them. I remember getting them years ago because I thought, oh, they look nice. I thought they'd, I'd do something because I used to make cards a lot. And I thought they'd be nice for that. But I never use them. So I've got a few left. Right. And I keep these. Because you can make little tags out of those. If anything, that would look quite nice there, you see. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just alter it a bit. That's a nice colour. Yeah. No, don't like it. <laughs> oh dear. And I love, but I love all this. So I'll think of something else to go there. Right, on to the next thing. I think leave that as it is. And then we've got this area here. Now. Definitely something in here. Right. Okay, I found something on the plainish side, so I actually thought, I know it's got Paris on there, but if I cut that off, and I would use that as a little, say, little booklet, it's about that, I usually just fold it and think, oh yeah, that'll do, and then I'll just find some spare bits of paper, and we'll make a little booklet, and I think that would look nice. In here because you've got that bow on here look and I think that will look quite nice there and that actually lends itself to even something else behind that so and I might I'm not sure whether to put anything up here yet I'm not sure but that's what I'm going to do next so I'm going to make that into a low uh, go in, into a pocket hello everybody it's Artie Mays and this is part two of um, decorating blank journal process so my camera died yesterday 
well, not camera died, actually the battery died in my iPad. And so I sort of carried on a little bit and I thought I'd go through what I'd done. So I made the booklet that I suggested. So that was that. Then I decoupaged that, that tag that oh that's it that tag that I showed you in previous in the previous video. I'm not sure what I was going to do with it, but I just sewed around it and decoupaged with the same napkin that I used here and there. So I've done that. Then all I've done here was just got a cut piece of paper with holes in the top and I just sewed, well, just stitched through a bit of jute string. That's all I've done. And then put this clip on there. That's all I've done. Then I found um, a negative and the leaf and a leaf, not the same one, I don't think, but so I turn it over. And I thought that would look nice there with, with say, this offset, something different. So I'm going to stick that down next. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so that's that. And then we're going to decorate that page, I think. Um, what else did I decide? Oh, I found an envelope that I thought would look nice with the colours going on. So that's one of my altered envelopes. It's not finished yet. I haven't finished it, but... I thought that would look nice in here. You know, I haven't um, put any fabric on or anything like that. It's just the beginnings of it. And I left it open because I thought I might put some lace on it. So that's that one. So that'll go somewhere there. And I think that was all I, yeah, that was all I done because I had a bit of time left. So I, oh, I found, I found that in my stash, in my bit box. So I thought that would look nice somewhere it's in with the theme so we'll do that later right so what we'll do we'll get on with this now okay right let's get sticking this down so i hope you're all having a nice time doing your junk journaling such a lovely hobby isn't it oh my gosh i really love it I only wish I'd found it years ago, really. I suppose we all, I've, I've done um, handmade cards and, um, oh, it's not for that, and junk journals. Not junk journals, um, mini albums. It's bubbling out today. There we go. Don't need any more than that. So, I haven't, I'm quite new to junk journal. Well, I've been doing it um, for 18 months now, I suppose. upside down these are some of the things I sort of decorate with you know sprays and different things and then I'll then I'll use my die cut machine and cut them out and the negative idea is not mine I mean the first person I saw using that I mean I used to chuck them all away was uh, Sunita coffee stains and I, yeah it was her and I just thought what a fantastic idea always chuck them away but now I don't so I think what I want to do is just offset that a bit I think there like that yep let's put a bit of glue on there I love her work I really do so she's one to follow as well if you like sort of grungy very natural looking things she has some really good ideas slightly off and I think a little word in there if I can find one just one word really autumn would be nice but I don't suppose I have that for one minute handy but I might find that in another book later on but definitely a little word there would be nice right okay that's that done for a minute I found the word autumn in one of the Edith Holden books, so that will work perfectly. I find it again. There we go. It's up here. So I'll just cut that one word out. Sorry. I 
should have some music playing in the background, shouldn't I? Listen to my voice all the time. It took me ages to have the confidence to do this because I just really struggled with listening to my own voice. I still do, but yep, that's perfect. I don't like this glue at the moment. It's not behaving, so I'm going to use Fabri-Tac, I think. So it was one of them days, I think. Glue's not, <laughs> the glue's not going to behave today. No. I think in the middle. But it does remind me of autumn, all these colours, actually. I must say. Uh, no, I didn't like it there either. How weird is that? No, it's got to be down there. I see how indecisive I am. I should have stayed with what I first, first thought. So it comes off there because these are laser printed, so I could just rub the glue off. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I like that. That's fine. On to the next page. Okay, well, I found an um, Edith Holden page, which I thought would look really nice on, on this pocket here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to do a double pocket so I'm going to I've cut it already down because I always measure the size and add half an inch if I want the little flaps on the side so I measure I've cut this at six and a half all right so I've got a quarter of an inch each side for a little flap I'm not going to have anything at the top because I actually want that right in there and what I'm going to do is and then I measure the other way And see how deep I want it so I think three and a quarter because we want a little bit of space here to make sure we put things in so three and a quarter will be fine down that way so I'll cut that I want it that way let's do it right in a minute oh, I it to my head Sorry if I was a bit quiet yesterday. I'm still a bit tired from the weekend. We had a very hectic weekend for some reason. And I do, when I get tired, I mumble. So, yep, that will be nice. And what I'm going to do is do the pot kits and I'm going to sew around and I'm going to sew down the middle. All right, because I can't sew it on the pocket, but I'm going to make it look like it's sewn and then just put a bead of glue down where the stitching is to make it look like it's been sewn onto the page. Okay, so what we do, get the scoreboard. And a quarter of an inch each side. Have to score this paper because it's quite thick actually. So. to the corner a bit or not might I just cut a little bit off just so that you don't see them and I'll do the bottom as well like that. and then ink it up you have to excuse me if I repeat myself when I'm doing this I haven't got the best of memories actually I think it um, it sort of struck me very quickly because I had a thyroid problem a few years ago, and um, it's like I had suffered with that really bad brain fog. And I could, at one point I couldn't even hold a sen I couldn't even hold a conversation, make a sentence or anything. I couldn't think of the word to come next, so I stopped talking. <laughs> I'm making up for it now, though. <laughs> right. And just make before I go ahead and sew, I will always make sure it fits. There's nothing worse than going ahead doing something that's actually too big. So you can cut it down now if you need to. No, that's fine. So I'll go ahead and sew that pocket. 
And I also, what I'm going to do here, because I find that's a little bit too pink, I'm going to just dull everything down here. Uh, usually I'll put some behind that. just a bit too pink there even though there's loads of nice pink colors in autumn I will say but yep that's better all right so I'll just go and stitch that a moment right okay I stitched all that up so all we do now is stick it down which I use this I think I bet you think, oh, I'm, I should be using my kits, my digi kits. Well, actually, I decided to do this without using them. And then to, because I didn't want it a sort of plug for you to, you know, buy the, buy the kits. But I will do one with my kits as well. But that will be my next one. But this is something that I really wanted to do. And I've been wanting to do it for a while. So I decided to sort of use bit box and things like that because it helps my creativity you know to try and make something out of what I've already got because that is you know the, the true meaning of junk journaling isn't it but it's just that in the UK oh we cannot get nice papers or we yes we can but they're so expensive so that's why I started designing in the beginning really because I was fed up of buying you know really expensive papers even though I love them all, I do. And I love other designers as too, too. You know, that I, I just, I love their work. I really appreciate their work. Because I, you know, I just, um, I'm very drawn to it all, really. Yeah, so that's all I do there. And then there's a sort of a mock pocket now. And it looks like it's actually been stitched down, but it hasn't. As long as you run that bead of glue along that line, we're okay. Yeah, so the next video I do, or well, the next process one, I will do one of my journals and um, do it from there. But I have got this thing about nature. I do really enjoy it. I know I've got the autumn kit, which this is lending itself to the autumn kit, actually. But... Um, no, we'll do, we'll do it from there. You'll see some um, journaling cards, I expect. All right, you see? And now you've got a little tuck pocket there, which that will look lovely with tags in, which I'll make in a moment. Okay, well, I've cut some tags down, which, um, you know, most of us know how to do that, or we've got die-cutting machines to do that for us. So I just cut some down to fit the pockets. Um, just coffee-stained paper. And just stumped on the back. That's all they've done. So they fit nicely in here. So I thought I'd add um, a little quote on them or little words at the top somewhere, which I think will look quite nice. Yep, so they will fit in there nicely, like that. And what I've done is I put some, this is tracing paper. It's slightly thicker than normal, cheap um, tracing paper it's 90 GSM which if you're in the US um, I have no idea what that is sorry um, but I put it through my typewriter and just typed out some little sayings that I like you know so and I've done that as well as using the Edith Holden because I just felt sometimes I quite you know I like doing this and then a lot of people might not have these yeah so if you've got a typewriter tracing paper double-sided double-sided double sticky tape and then you've got your own little banners and words that you can put on things and I do use them through the journal as well which I, I will use those because I was thinking you know you uh, yes easy holding pages are lovely but not everybody has ac access to them so oh, I quite like that one so all I do here is just cut it out like everything else like doing the words and it's already sticky back, so perfect. There we go. I 
know there's other books out there that you could use most probably, you know. Poetry books, there's some lovely words in there. I've got, um, is it Tennyson? And I'm sort of going through that, but I sort of, I don't really, I used to write poetry years ago and really enjoyed it, but I was like, I don't really understand it anymore. <laughs> My brain won't work now. Oh dear. This is, when I do things like this, this is where I've got to watch my head doesn't go in. So I tend to lean forward. Um, I think I'll go... Is it wide? No, it's a bit too wide, so I'll just put it down the side. And there we are. It almost disappears into the coffee stained paper, so you can see that, alright? That's that. I'll pick another one. Colours are the smiles of nature. Yeah, perfect. I mean, you could cut them all out before and then keep them in strips in a little pot, which is then it's all ready for you. But I'm not that organised. <laughs> I should be, but I'm not. visit from my husband again I hear him come up the stairs so I thought I'll turn off the video then right so all I done was um took that off and then and stuck it on there so that was those tags and I'll put some um ribbon or something in it later I don't need it so there we go I mean there's 101 videos out there on making tags and everything so I didn't think it's silly to see all that process, but that's all I do because it's, if it's um, a plain page, then I might put a busy tag. And if it's a busy page, I'll put a plain tag and try and work like that, really. But it doesn't always work out like that. Right, so let's see what we can do next. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that page yet. I really don't know. I mean, if I was a journaler, I would write on that, but I'm not. So I'm either going to have to stick some some pictures in maybe with autumn do something like that so what I might do is another day I'll go and um, I'll take some pictures or I might even have some and I'll do that and then I'll show you how I would place them there yep that's an idea right, let me put that because I might change my mind so what I do is I put a little marker here to let me know that I thought about something sometimes I put a little sticky note on to let me know and then pin it in because they always come unstuck don't they and um that, that reminds me what i've got to do there right okay okay i'm on the next page so we saw the envelope i showed you earlier that i was going to put here so i thought i would um do some decoupage on it and use this somehow because i want him sort of peeking out behind there so something like that so i'll get on with that so go back to me um so he's gonna look like he's floating at the moment in midair but he won't do once we've got the other things on so let's do this again these are um wages envelopes i think if i remember rightly you can get them in most places actually oh, i think i've a bit more glue over there So you have to sit up quite high. I'm heading there again. Right, make sure his face is on the yeah, perfect. Oh, it's not perfect because he needs to be a little bit straighter. Or he'd be sat wonky. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's better. That's why I like watering the glue down because I've you you have a little bit of time. It doesn't stick straight away. And if it's pure uh, Mod Podge, you guarantee it'll cling straight away and you can't lift it up at all. Let's get one of those 
that in. Right, in my envelope, I need a piece of card, like I normally do, just to make sure I don't stick that down. I mean, you can cut it after if you do, but I'll just put that in there like that. cute so very very cute and it's got a noisy radio on today I've also I don't know they've been working on the house next door and I've got a terrible smell in here it's like oh, I don't know I think they've done something to their drains <laughs> So we're in the process of contacting them at the moment because it's really horrendous. It's like somebody's died up there. It's awful. I hope it goes away. I've got my door shut today where it's, it's a shame really because it's summertime. Right, so I'm going to leave that dry and um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll get ready with this one here. So I'll leave that to dry in a minute. <clears throat> I must speak up today because I was a bit quiet yesterday a couple of people said they didn't hear me so which I'm very sorry about that right, hopefully my voice I've got a very strong voice and a very loud voice that's why I tend to speak try and speak quietly because I've always been told off for my loud voice <laughs> it travels Right, so all I do here is stick some of this on. Oh, we're not using that, are we? Because it goes everywhere today. Do you want it to be yeah, Because I want more over that side of the page, so I'm going to stick that right there, I think. Make it, I trim all off, all off after. Just literally let that dry now. Upside down, of course. Right, so let's have a look, see what else we can do while that's all drying, shall we? Right, I have got some Edith Holden bits left, so I might make some tags actually, because I don't want to waste these. Have a little look to see what all the mountain stars and boundless spaces. That's that's lovely. I've got. I'm sorry. I've got to cut that out. I have to use that. That's really lovely. Okay, it's all dry. So, what I want, what I will do now, because I've got plenty left over, I will, I, I um, will place it just to see how much I need to cut off, because I sort of want this a little bit sort of ruched up, really. So I'm going to leave that side because I want to hide him a little bit, but take some of this off here, which I think I can do all that after because I won't stick this down here and I think that will be okay. Yeah, but what I need to do first is just go over this just in case, just to blend that in a bit. Sometimes you need to. Stick that down then. Oh, it's really bad weather. To, well, it's not bad, it's just really cloudy. Today we've had such beautiful weather too, and you sort of get used to it, and then you think, oh, so dull. Yeah. I hope you're all having nice weather where you are. down okay so what I'm going to do here just put some little dots of glue around not too much just a bit like that and then you can ruche it up a bit more there. Okay. <laughs> Everything sticks to you, doesn't it? Okay. I don't really want those big lumps there. Let's 
and put them through and just put them a bit on the top there and folding that over so I think that could look quite nice to make sure that little bit's covered there and then stick that there as long as it doesn't look like a net because we're not catching him are we he's free and then I will trim off some of this so leave a bit I always trim off a bit more once um, it's stuck in the box, so we can um, see what see what it's doing. A bit down there as well. <clears throat> there we go. I think that will be fine. And then we have a lovely pocket here. Yeah, it's ending up quite autumn-y, this journal, actually. I wanted it sort of nature -y, but it's, um, I think the colours are just, I'm working with them, and this is what's happening. But, <clears throat> where was I going to add this? Okay. So I think just about there. Shall we have a tuck spot behind it as well? Yes, I think we will. So let's glue that down. So I do like to fill my journals, so more tuck spots are better for me. I think what I'm going to do is try and edit the video for when um, his silence is. Put a little music, fade a little bit of music in. I'm going to try anyway. I used to, be, I used to edit movies, that, you know, films that I took years ago, but I haven't done it for so long. And I've got iMovie on the iPad. It's, um, it's quite good. I'm getting used to it. I couldn't even split a film at first. I was like, how do you do it? You know, so that good old Google. There you go. And actually, I would have a tag that come out of there to leave that because I wouldn't shut that, so I'd leave it as it is. And you'll find everything lays a bit flatter at once, you know, you, you, you keep shutting the journal and everything. But I'm going to have to because there's quite a lot down on the bottom, so I'm going to have to do a few things that are up the top because it, or else it's this bit here is going to be a lot fatter than here. So I'm going to have a go at that too, because everything is down here, look. And let's do that. There we go. That's, that's that. So we need a big tag in here. Well, I've got, um, yeah, that might, that will work, won't it? I think. Oh, look at that. So we'll, we will, um, unless I do, I would like to use... So I asked my daughter to message me, her exam went well today, so she had a bit of a trauma yesterday. Yeah, she suffers with um, anxiety at the moment, and she went into the exam, maths exam, and had a breakdown, basically. So she now, they're putting her in a room, smaller room, and with a few other people, and um, it's better. You know, there's only there's about twelve in this little room, so hopefully she'll be able to do a proper exam next year because it's only her mocks. So fingers crossed that they'll let her do it in that room. Okay. Oh yeah, where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna make a tag out of that because I think I want to save as much as that as I can, and we'll make a little plain one to go in there. I think. Okay, well, I've done the, the journaling tag and backed it with lined paper and sewn around it. That's all I've done to that. So that will go in here. And then I found that card there. So because it's slightly the wrong tone, but I'm going to just blend that with some tea stain. And I think it will work because I really like that journaling card. Yes, that's one of mine from... Um, woodland walk is it something like that, that one of those kits yeah so i'm gonna because this again is laser, laser printed i can do this whereas if it's not 
don't use so much ink because the paper's more absorbent. And then I will do a bit darker around the edges, and that should work. But I might have to cut a bit off, I'm not sure. So if I do, I'll cut off slightly at the bottom. I need to blend that out a bit. Okay. There we go. See, I mumbled again then, didn't I? Oh dear, I hope one day I stop doing that. Right, so that's a better tone. Let's have a look. No, actually, that's that's perfect. I don't need to do anything there at all. Okay, well, I think that's it for that page. The only thing I would do is, you know, put some seam binding or something on that later or a bit of, a bit of your string or something quite organic because I find that this journal's going very organic <laughs> but okay that's the way it's going so we've got to work with it go with the flow they say